Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can get started with unit testing in Virtual Studio 2022. I think unit testing is one of the most underrated projects in any solution. People who don't know what unit testing projects are, those are the projects in which you can write test cases for your features for your application. So whenever you change your code or any developer changes your code, they can run the unit test cases to make sure that the functionality that they have changed is working fine or not. And you can find bugs and do impact analysis before testers or QAs can find the bugs in your code. So for demo, I have created a solution, which is a console application in which I have this great calculator class in which we have this method called as get create by percentage. It takes percentage as parameter and it returns the grade of a student depending on you know, the percentage, what they got in their exams. So if they get 90 to 100, then the grade is going to be A. If it's in between 80 to 90, then it's going to be B. And if it's between 70 to 80, then it's going to be C. And depending on, you know, how grading system works. And if it's anything other than uh, 1 to 100, if it's minus 1 or if it's 200, then it's going to return invalid. Let's call this in our program.cs. I have already done that. I have initialized the grade calculator. I'm taking percentage as input from the user and then passing it to grade calculator and getting the grade and printing it in my console. Let's run this and see how it works. For that, I'm going to open my terminal. And in here, I'm going to say document run. It's going to ask me the percentage. I'm going to pass 99. It's going to print A. If I pass 40, then it's going to print F because you failed. If I pass minus 1, then it's going to print invalid. So it's working fine. I have written the code and it's working fine for me. But I want to write unit test cases. If someone else changes the score, they need to run those unit test cases in order to make sure that the functionality is working fine. To add unit test cases, I'm going to right click on my solution and add a new project. And this is going to be an unit project. So n unit is the framework that we're going to use to write test cases. There are other frameworks like XUnit and MS Test, and there are bigger frameworks to even perform UI related changes. We're not going to dive into that, but NUnit is the basic one where you can test your functions. So let's get started with NUnit. I'm going to select this NUnit test project and then click on next. I'm going to name my project as student grade dot n unit tests and click on next and then i'm going to select framework as dot net six because that's what it's latest right now and then finally i'm going to click on create once i click on create then it's going to add a project with unit test one as a class this comes out of the box with these projects and this class has only one class which is test it has a function with attribute setup. And this is where you will set up your data, the data that is needed to test your feature. This is something that will initialize your instances, your objects, and use them in your functions. And then we have another method, which is test1, and it has attribute test. Let's open our test explorer you can do that by clicking on this view and then we have this test explorer and once i open that then it will load the test cases which are there in our solution so you can see that it loaded our project which is student creates n units n unit tests and then we have tests which is the name of the class and then we have test one, which is the method. So let's go ahead and change this to make sense for our functionality. 
we want to test our grade calculator so i'm going to change the name of our class to grade calculator tests so that it makes sense and same name i'm gonna give it to the class so if i go to class i'm gonna give it the same name and then the functionality that we would like to test is get grade by percentage right so i'm gonna copy the name of the function and change the method name the test method name to get grade by percentage test and this is going to be an equal test and i'll talk about what's not equal in a minute but let's first just say that it is an equal test now once i modify this then you'll see that the modifications are showing up in our test explorer too so once you modify your test name your test class name and test method it'll start populating here now that we have our test project set up let's add the reference of student grades in this project so that we could use the classes from student grades so i'm gonna add a reference here add a project reference which is going to be for student grades that will be added and here we will have to set up we'll have to initialize so if you look at our program.cs we created an instance of grade calculator in order to use it right so these are the things that you'll have to do it in your setup method so first i'm going to create a private property private property which is going to be grade calculator and it's going to be get and set and let's also keep it null when we you know have this property and now when this test gets initialized we would like to assign an instance for this grade calculator so i'm going to say that create calculator and i would like to assign an instance to it now that we have our grade calculator here we can do three things first is assign second is act and the third is assert so if you look at our program.cs you can see that we first assigned our percentage second we acted to get the grade from grade calculator and finally we printed to make sure that our grade is coming out correctly so that's what we need to do in our test method too here i'm gonna perform three tasks one is assign second is act and third is assert to assign i'm going to first assign the percentage so if you look at our program.cs we took percentage from the user but here i'm going to assign a hard value and we'll change that in a minute so here i'm going to say where percentage is equal to 99 and we'll pass this percentage to our grade calculator so we need to get the grade which is the second activity which is act and here i'm going to get the grade and pass the percentage which is 99 here and we know for 99 it should return a because we wrote the functionality right so here i'm going to write assert r equal to so if you hit dot here you will see the list of methods that it has so there are different things that you can validate but we are going to check r equal to r equal to has two main parameters one is expected and another is actual so we know what the expected behavior should be for percentage 99 it should be a and we'll pass the actual value that we got from acting from calculating the grade by the percentage so we are going to first say that the expected value should be a and the second parameter should be grade which is the actual value so this test method will now tell us if a is equal to whatever the actual value that you are getting from your function or not now if i go to test explorer here and run our test there's only one test in here 
it's going to get the reference create an object assign the value get the grade and it's going to tell us that yes your test is passing because you gave correct value it returned correct grade and it's actually equal to a that is the expected behavior now let's assume let's assume that a new developer comes in and they go ahead and think that okay from 90 to 100 it should be a plus and it's correct in some cases but for our application it isn't then they go ahead and run the test they will see that the tests are not passing because that's not what the behavior of the application should be and they can also check in group summary what actually happened it's saying the expected value is a and you're returning a plus and it's not going to let them pass the test that's why they'll have to go ahead and change it back to a in order to make sure that all the tests are passing so this is how unit tests work here we only checked for one test case let's say if you want to perform this test for multiple test cases then you can use test case attribute so here i'm going to pass test case attribute and we know that it the grade is going to be a for any value between 90 to 100 so i'm going to pass those values i'm going to pass 91 and let's pass 95 97 and also pass 99 so for these values we know that the grade should be a and here i'm going to comment out percentage we don't need that and i'm going to get this values these test cases in parameter which is percentage so this is how you can test your functionality for multiple test cases by using test case attribute now if i go to my test explorer and run this test then it will run the test for all those four test cases you'll see those test cases here and all those test cases are passing and it will tell you the parameter which has been passed for testing your test cases if i passed minus one here which is not correct for minus one it should return invalid not a then that test case will fail and it will also tell us why it failed so if i click on this minus one test case then it's going to say that okay the expected value is a but it was actually invalid so this is how you can make sure that you know you're passing multiple test cases now i'm going to write a not equal to test so we did a positive test you should also write some negative test i want to write test cases for which it shouldn't be a but then i'm going to copy this test method and then paste it here and here i'm going to say that this is a not equal test and in assert i'm going to say instead of r equal i'm going to say r not equal so what i'm trying to do is i want to pass some test cases for which i know the grade is not equal to a so for percentage one it's not equal to a for percentage 45 it's not equal to a for percentage 70 it's not equal to a and even for percentage 89 it's not equal to a so i know for these test cases it's not going to be equal to a now let's run that and see if that's working fine or not so i'm going to run all the test cases and it's going to list down all those test cases and it's going to tell us that okay yes you're correct for all those test cases the result is not a so this is how you can perform not equal to test two. The best part about unit test cases or any testing framework is that you can run this from the command line. So if I want to run this from the command line, I can say .NET test. So because you can run that command as part of your deployment and the solution won't get deployed until your testing is not passed. So as part of deployment, your uh, commands are going to be .NET build because you want to build your solution, but it should also test your solution so that you know 
that you're pushing a perfect solution so for that i'm going to say if you look at the folder structure we have this student grades which is a console application we have student grades and unit test which is our testing project so if i say dot net test here then it's going to build my solution and it's going to perform the test and it's going to tell me if the tests are passing or not and if they're not passing then the code won't get deployed in production and that way you can perform impact analysis and not push bad code in production so this is how you can use unit test cases unit testing project for your solution too before i end the video i would like to ask a question what does n stand for in n unit framework thanks for watching the video if you have any questions please post them in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on my twitter or facebook handle thanks again i'll see you in the next one bye